Hi, Little Sprouts. This is a non-fiction reader about some of the strangest creatures you've ever seen in the ocean. It is brought to us by National Geographic Kids and author Laura Marsh, and it's called Weird Sea Creatures. Now remember, these creatures look pretty odd, but I promise you they're all true, real creatures that actually live in the ocean. Strange but true. This is a balloon fish. Many strange sea creatures live in the ocean. Some are beautiful, some are ugly, some are cute, and some are scary. Weird sea creatures are strange for a reason. The funny way they look and the strange things they do help them live in the ocean. Survival skills. Some sea animals live in the shallow ocean waters. Some live in the deep ocean. The ocean can be a hard place to live. Deep areas are cold and dark. It can be hard to find food. And the ocean can be dangerous. There are many predators. Any animal can quickly become dinner for another animal. Predator it means an animal that hunts and eats other animals. These fish over here are called diagonal butterfly fish. Sea creatures have special skills that help them find food. They also have strange body parts that can help them hide and stay safe from other animals. How weird are these cr sea creatures? Let's find out. This is a Dumbo octopus and it finds food on the ocean floor with its large eyes. Right there is the eyes. This is a leafy sea dragon, and it blends in with seaweed all around it so that predators can't find it. A mori, moray eel has sharp teeth to catch prey. Look at those sharp teeth. Hide and seek. Camouflage helps animals hide from their enemies. Looking strange helps them blend into the plants or water around them. Camouflage also helps animals catch dinner. Do you see the stonefish in this picture? Most fish don't because it looks just like the rock or coral. When they swim too close, the stonefish springs from the ocean floor. It grabs dinner in a flash. Can you see it? Right here is the stonefish, but it sure does blend in with the stones around it. Big eyes. The deep ocean gets very little light. Many animals that live there have large eyes. Big eyes help creatures see in the darkness and find prey. This viper fish uses its big eyes to spot a hatchet fish. Dinner time. This one's the viper fish, and this one is the hatchet fish. The hatchet fish uses its own large eyes to find tiny shrimp to eat in the dark. Making light. Many creatures in the deep, dark sea have a special trick. They make their own light. This is called bioluminescence. So do you see how this comb jelly kind of looks like it's glowing? That's because it is. It can make its own glowing light. This black dragonfish has funny patches that glow in many places on its body. Some sea creatures use their own light as a flashlight to find prey. Light can be drawn, can draw prey towards an animal too. And light can surprise enemies so an animal can make a quick escape. So this little fish here glows right down here and it attracts fish to it so that the fish wanna come see what's glowing and then they can eat those fish. Expert food finders. Some animals have wacky body parts that help them catch meals. This is a gulper eel and right here, this huge opening is its mouth. The 
gopher eel has a super long tail. Prey comes closer for a better look. This eel's giant mouth opens wide. It can eat an animal bigger than it is. It can't be picky. In the deep sea, the eel must eat whatever it can find. The tiny cookie cutter shark locks onto its prey with its strange sucking lips. These are the lips right here. Its sharp teeth sink in. They leave a bite the shape of a circle. Look at the cookie cutter sharks feeding on a dolphin in this illustration. See them right here? They're very small, these cookie cutter sharks, but they latch on with their round lips and then their teeth can find its mark. These spots on the dolphin that look like circles, those are actually marks where the shark has been there, has bit the dolphin. An anglerfish has its own fishing pole called a lure. The lure glows. Right here's the lure. The other fish want to know what it is. When they get close, the anglerfish eats them. This fish is in Finding Nemo, if you remember. It has the little lure. It almost gets Dory. Deadly dangers. Bumping into some sea creatures can be bad news. The yellow sea anemone looks like a pretty flower, but it has stinging parts that have deadly venom. When the fish is stung, its muscles stop working. Then the sea anemone can eat the fish. This is actually alive, even though it just looks like a pretty flower. The box jelly is one of the most dangerous animals in the world. It has arms called tentacles that grow up to 10 feet long. The tentacles deliver a painful, deadly sting. This lionfish has crazy spiky fins, but you wouldn't want to touch them. The fins on its back are sharp and can sting you. These ones right here. Strange senses. Some animals near the ocean floor don't even have eyes. They can't see their food, so they use other senses to find it. A sea cucumber can feel tiny pieces of food stuck to its tube feet. It curls its feet in and licks them clean. A hagfish has a super strong sense of smell and touch. It can smell food that's fallen from higher up in the ocean. It also uses feelers to find meals. Super subs. How do we know about weird sea creatures in the deep ocean? People can't dive deep to see these strange creatures. It's too cold and dark down there, and the water pressure is strong enough to crush a person. But humans can use machines called submersibles to explore the deep oceans. Sometimes people control them from far away, like a remote controlled car, and sometimes People ride inside. Submersibles collect information. They have lights and special tools. They take pictures and they gather plants, rocks, and animals. Scientists use submersibles to find the weird creatures shown here. And there are probably thousands more that haven't been found yet. These odd tube worms live on the bottom of the ocean. They can grow to be eight feet tall. That's taller than an adult human. This is real. This is called a blobfish. <clears throat> Here's some of the creatures that we learned about today. So strange, aren't they, friends? It's hard to believe that they're real, but they are, and they live in the oceans.